we sat in carriage 152, um, our second new observation carriage for the Festiniog. Um, I think just looking around shows how plush and very nice it is. Uh, started it probably about I don't know, May last year um, and it's almost finished now, not far off, a couple of curtain rails to put in, um, a few little features to finish and then it should be going, going into traffic in a week or two's time. Uh, what else can we say about it? Uh, come riding it, that's a good thing to do. Right, so in this end of 152, um, it's a little bit different to 150 in that we haven't got a centre post in this one. Um, it was felt that people sitting in the seats here would lean past others and then be looking straight at a post. So we've moved the posts and we've put actually an extra post in to make it more you know, symmetrical. Um, it has meant that we've altered things at this end. Uh, the table's a little bit bigger. We've had to make, we've, we've added lighting around here because we don't have a way of ending the roof off here. Um, and generally it looks it looks a lot more complete in this vehicle compared to 150 um, and <laughs> there's a lot of varnish on this table <laughs> we were told that um, the booking, booking office would like to be able to put their champagne casks there with ice in and that but they didn't quite fit on the table in 150 so uh, we increased this one and it meant that we could put an inlay into it and actually make it feel part of the rest of the carriage um, in this end of the carriage, very much like 150, we have the Dragons. Um, difference being in this vehicle, we've mounted them slightly further out and we've backlit them. Um, as you can see, it has quite a nice effect. Um, so you can see the Dragons from, from further in, in of the carriage. Um, all CNC made um, at Aberystwyth University. Um, they are mounted on a piece of plastic because you end up with very thin, small grain here. Uh, so that we were getting problems with the legs breaking off. Uh, but plastic on the back seems to have solved that problem. Um, they, uh, yeah, so, and they both face that way, <laughs> as they should for Welsh dragons. <laughs> right, we're stood in carriage 120, um, a replacement for the steel 120, which is presently running up and down the railway. Uh, this one's been funded by Festinion Travel, uh, pretty much the same as the other saloons we've built in over the last eight, eight years or so. Um, six seating bays with a disabled bay at that end. Um, we're almost, we're at the point where the flooring will be going in soon, the electrics are progressing nicely and the carriage is pretty much at a point where it will go to the paint shop within the next few weeks. Um, the seats are all progressively being built and they're all over being worked on by one of the younger lads. Um, the doors are obviously ready. So yeah, yeah it should be, should be finished by late June this one, uh, all being well. This is 113, uh, it's in the process of being altered to accommodate a guards van, a toilet, uh, in order to join its place in the C set. Um, when carriage 102 gets turned around, that will go to the top end of the set, so you'll need a new brake van for the, for the bottom end of that set. Um, so we've got the, the handbrake will go in there, guards tools and equipment, ramp, guards seat, um, and just around the corner here we've got the toilet. Uh, this is a largely volunteer project, um, keep the costs down and uh, hopefully we'll get it done within the next couple of months depending on our volunteer um, resources we have. We're also um, rewiring 113 at the same time to put the modern LED lights in um, as carried in the, the, the newer carriages. Um, they take a lot less current so obviously the battery life will last longer. Um, and also at this end we're putting the wheelchair access in which we've planned to do for many years and just never got round to it. Very much like the other super super saloons with a folding seat but will look normal when it's not folded down. So here we've got a mock-up of the Raven Glass carriage that we're building. It's an observation carriage. Um, it gives an impression of what we're intending to do for the interior. Uh, up lighting onto the ceiling, central lights down onto a small table between two side-by-side -side seats. Um, we're a bit limited on what we can achieve because obviously it's a much smaller carriage than our types of carriages um, but it, it'll be as, as plush as we can make it for a carriage of this size. And... Right, we're here in the welding bay where the framework for the Ravenglass carriage is being built. Uh, it's an aluminium upper body with a steel frame 
Um, it's all going to get aluminium clad on the outside, so it's not really too much to worry about for us in the carriage works. Um, hopefully in about a month's time it should come into us and then we'll start doing the lining, the, the Sapili lower half um, and a, a, a ceiling very similar to 150 and 152 inside. Uh, we're hoping to complete it for August time, um, but it, you know, as long as plans work out. <laughs> it's got a dropped, dropped lower front half, similar to our, our observation carriages, um, and externally it will look the same colour as our carriages. Uh, inside will obviously have upholstered seats and carpeted floor.
Mate, I'm not an artist. That you've been outdone. There we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a bit blurry. Oh, you know, it's just me that's blurry. <laughs> no, it's me that's blurry. <laughs> 